My experiences with Vipassana from the beginning, uh, well, it really started when I met my first teacher, Anagarika Dhammadina. And uh, she was uh, a Buddhist nun, a renunciate really, because the uh, Theravada Buddhist nuns tradition had died out and she really set off on her own to uh, live the life of a, of a renunciate. And in her own search for training, she was um, bringing in other teachers as well. So I was, had this tremendous gift of different monastics that she brought in as her teachers, they became my teachers. So the venerable Balangoda Ananda Maitreya, Mahanayaka Tara, a highly esteemed, uh, actually probably the, the most revered monk in Sri Lanka, uh, who died maybe 10 years ago at the age of 102. Profound, beautiful teacher. And um, Ajahn Soban Namto, a Thai monk, and uh, Venerable Punaji Mahatera, another Sri Lankan monk. So these were my teachers, all in the Theravada tradition. And so the teaching grew out of their gift to me. Um, uh, Anagarika was training me to teach. Ajahn Sobin was training me to teach. Uh, with Balangoda and Nandamatray, I was learning both Abhidhamma and really through being with his uh, presence. He was very uh, uh, profound, powerful teacher just by being with him in that way. And Venerable Punaji, I would say, was essential to my development in the way that he really identified what he called proto-Buddhism, uh, the, uh, the essence of Buddhism as carried in the earliest teachings even within the Theravada, there were later cultural developments, and uh, Venerable Punaji was drawing back to the essences, even within the early Buddhist tradition. And that inspired me to really find those roots, which then became the roots uh, for my teaching and the development of Insight Dialogue and so on. 